Next, scientists from the Midlands have made a major breakthrough in the treatment of a hospital superbug which has claimed thousands of lives. Clostridium difficile is associated with poor hygiene on hospital wards and it led to a number of outbreaks several years ago. Hospitals have since improved their hygiene procedures but the bug remains a big problem. Between January last year and March this year, there were more than 18,000 cases in England. 7,500 of them were in hospitals. And the bug can kill quickly. 30% of those who died did so within 30 days. Our correspondent Gareth Owen now reports on the breakthrough which could save thousands of lives. In a Leicester laboratory, in a tiny dish, just maybe an answer. An end to the hospital superbug which has caused suffering for thousands for more than a decade. The deaths of 78 people in Leicester could be linked the to the number of people hospital. dying from the hospital superbug. The daughter of a man who died from a hospital superbug. Seven years ago, Day. Leicester became the centre of an outbreak of Clostridium difficile. The bug also played a big part in the scandal at Stafford Hospital. Ellen Lindstead died from C. difficile. She caught it on a ward at Stafford. For her family, the effects of the bug were shocking. So the first time that it happened when she was covered in faeces, it was out of visiting time, so everybody else in the ward could actually see it was very, very undignified. And for my mum, who was incredibly proud and clean, that, that was really difficult for her. It's, it's, it's tragic and it's soul-destroying to think that my mum died of something that she didn't go into hospital with. Most patients, like Ellen, are treated with antibiotics but they can be ineffective and as soon as they stop taking them, the bug tends to return. But this team at the University of Leicester has discovered a new way of treating it. They spent years scouring riverbeds looking for a virus which would attack C. difficile. And now that work has paid off. So the virus um, attaches to the bacterial cell, it injects its DNA, it then stops that bacteria being a bacteria anymore, it just turns it into a little viral factory, it makes many, many viruses, which then break the cell open and lies the cells to kill the cell. At the moment, what we've done is for the first time identified this new set of weapons. Now what we have to do is, is identify a, a prototype product, and then what we hope to do is, is then test it uh, in, in, in patient settings. So we're not quite there yet, but for the first time what we've done is find the set of viruses that we can then start to exploit. But even the prospect of a cure for Clostridium difficile has delighted those who know its effects firsthand. I think any advances we can have, any science, any technology that can help with preventing it or even sort of treating it, would be a great breakthrough because I think the poor care that led to my mum's death on the C. diff, if neither of those two had happened, I think I'd have my mum today. It could take up to a decade to get a pill into mass production. If it does happen, scientists here say it will save many thousands of lives. Gareth Owen, ITV News, Leicester.